It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... What does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own, and you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? This way, think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil! Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stay behind! <laughs> I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Release me! 
Rebellion. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical, hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the centre. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the centre of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honours? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. Revelio. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Sweet on the swell. And we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Rebellion. Incendio. Mullen's beard! The flames make the pyre sing. are back where they started. <laughs> 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 
Incendio. Day, I can hardly believe it. Revelio. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Revelio. Sir Nicholas, our house ghost, is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. Revelio. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent, outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill, a test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Akio. Nothing to it. Akio. That was one for the ages. Akio. Not bad. Not bad. Akio. Try to beat that. Akio. I've seen worse. Wait, did I win? I won! We should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand! You could use the practice. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. All in the wrist. Akio. That was one for the ages. Akio. Nothing to it. I'll let you have that one. Akio. Try 
try to beat that. Akio. Well done. You beat me. Bit of good luck, that's all. Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practising and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. Revelio. I don't trust any of the boys. You find one venomous tentacular on your pillow and you don't soon forget. Young for a shopkeeper though, isn't he? My parents visited the school. Revelio. All I can say is thank Merlin. It's against school policy to let them in the college. Slytherin almost always use the door to the right of the room. Revelio. Accio. Incendio. Incendio. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I haven't heard any nasty comments lately. Not since you got me that venomous tentacular leaf.
Revelio. Now that I have all my gobstones back, I'm ready to take on all challenges. If I can find any. Again for finding my gobstones. I never could have done it myself. What is this, sir? Let me answer. Incendio. Revelio. Revelio. Let me also. Revelio. Revelio. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fruper feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing Wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Sounds simple enough, and who wouldn't want to go to Honey Dukes? Ah, brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywigs things? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness! It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honey Dukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. Hello, Gareth. What exactly did you want me to do again? Find the secret passage that goes from Hogwarts to Hogsmeade. Should be behind a one-eyed witch statue. 
then follow it to Honeyduke's cellar and grab some dried billywig stings for my newest concoction. Family hours of doorstep.